Hey guys, I found the most recent marital survey that's available online. This is from the National Health Statistics Report and it talks about first marriages and the, the data that's available is from 2006 to 2010. There might be others, other informal surveys done after this, but this is a government survey, so I'm just gonna use this as reference. The method, basically, it's a representative sample of 12,279 women and 10,403 men. And this is 15 to 44 because the National, the, the National Survey of Family Growth, the NSFG, that did this survey only looks at people who can have children. So they have that from 15 to 44. So that's a little sampling limitation. Certain people get married and have children before 15 and certain people get married, have children, etc. after 15. And on top of this, the marriage is only up to 20 years. So it only tracks how many marriages last five years, 10 years, 15 years, etc. until 20. It doesn't go beyond 20. So those are some limitations, but the sample is representative of America, at least from 2006 to 2010. I actually, oh, you guys can see this, this is cool. So when I show you data graphs, you guys will see some good stuff. First thing is, women and men who cohabitate or cohabit with their future spouse before first marriage are more likely to divorce than those who do not cohabit with their spouse before first marriage. So the first lesson in making your marriage last is don't freaking live together before you get married. It's all about steps, right? If you decide to commit to each other and you decide we're gonna work our problems out for the rest of our lives, etc. Living together is like a psychological commitment to that. If you're already living together, then Marriage is seriously just signing a piece of paper. I mean, maybe if you live together, your finances aren't tied together, but if you do get married, you should probably have separate finances and a joint account. That way it's like joint accounts for mutual activities, but you also have your separate finances. So this is a very interesting graph that I'll show you guys. You see this? 1982 to 2006 to 2010. So people, are currently getting married at slightly less percentage wise. Actually, that's pretty statistically significant. It went from 44% to 36% from ages 15 to 44 that married for the first time. So marriage is going down a little bit and cohabitation is going up. So people are living together. They're more willing to live together, but maybe they're slightly less likely to get married. Very interesting. This is the number of people who end up married by a specific age. What you can see here is that people have a probability of getting married as they get older, of course, right? But the most interesting graph is down here. Look at this. This is the probability of being married by 40. So if you look here, Basically, our current society is delaying marriage. You see that? Probability of ultimately being married is still the same when by the time you reach 40 from all the years. So you see, 19, the 80s, the 2000s, and then now, or now as in like technically eight years ago, there's no difference up here. So. I think what this is showing is the skew. Because people are getting later, getting married later, this is, this, is sh this is better explained here. It's not that people aren't getting married as much, it's just that people are more likely to get married later. And then this is a really good one. Check out this one. This is by ethnicity or race, whatever word you use. So if you're an Asian woman, after 20 years, your marriage has a 69% chance of being without a disruption and you're still married. If you're white and Hispanic, you're around 53, 54% chance of being still married after 20 years. And then if you're black, a black woman, 37% chance of still being married 
to your first marriage after 20 years. So that's very interesting. It looks like you know, black women, whether they marry black men or white men or Asian men, etc., there's a higher likelihood compared to compared to other races of the marriage not lasting a lifetime. And Asian marriages slightly higher likelihood. And maybe that comes down to maybe tradition or a lot of Asian women marry white guys. So maybe they're like, ooh, I married the white guy. You know, I, I, there's a lot of explanations and I'm not gonna say one's right or another's right. And this is very interesting. So this graph is showing the probability of a marriage being intact. So if you have, the more highly educated you are, the more likely, if you do get married, that your marriage will be intact after 20 years. So this is very interesting because we all know a lot of people, the more educated you are, the more you're going to delay marriage, right? But it looks like even though you might delay marriage, whatever values you learn from your education seem to stick to you and then you have a slightly higher likelihood of staying in your marriage and not getting divorced. So what did we learn here? Don't cohabitate with your partner if you want to get married. <laughs> Marry an Asian woman. <laughs> get educated. Keep your love of knowledge and lifelong learning. Ultimately, it is correlational data too. And what that means is that we're trying to learn lessons from correlational data as in this characteristic associates with higher or lower likelihood of being married or divorced. But it's not necessarily proven causation. So for example, people who cohabitated before marriage and then people who got divorced, maybe it's not that cohabitation led to a higher likelihood of, as in cohabitation caused the ultimate divorce, but it's that people who are reckless both cohabitate before marriage and get divorced. I'm reading this article because it's interesting. I'm trying to learn lessons, kind of funny, but ultimately you can't really learn causal lessons from correlational data. The most interesting thing that I got out of this was that it's not like marriage rates have gone down. It's just that people are delaying it. So what does that have to say about life? For all races, divorce rates are going up, right? As in people stay married after 20 years, 15 years, it's all going down. We have one correlation, which is that People are getting married at later age. We have another correlation which is that people are cohabitating more and more. And then we also have the fact that people are getting divorced more and more. 